Are you ready to uncover the truth behind some of Greece's most infamous legends? Some proving truer and closer to home than expected. Today, the crew continue their voyage to Ithaca, the home of the legendary Odysseus, and to one of the world's largest natural harbors. Enveloped by its vibrant waterfront, all set against a backdrop of lush hills and clear blue waters, the crew's goal is to begin their exploration of Varthi by foot, encountering both modern tragedy and and ancient triumph along the way. Welcome to Sailing Trinity Season 2, A Greek Sun Odyssey, around the islands in 80 days. Ready to dive into today's adventure, friends? If you'd like to see more of our Odyssey, hit the like and subscribe buttons now. Your engagement does wonders for the channel. Stay tuned as the crew, equipped with curiosity and guided by mystery, uncover tales of old and bring you along to entertain, educate and immerse you alongside them. Which age old legends will today's mythic odyssey reveal join us this episode to find out without further ado let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together Hours 14.6 nautical miles to Vathi. Hi everyone, I just thought I'd give you an update on our passage to Vathi. Just out in the North Ionian behind me here, you can see Lefkada Island, Savolta Bay, where we were, and this island here. That's Meganesi, that's where we were when we uh, <laughs> we had the rock incident. All good though. All along the coastline here, tons of small little anchorages. All the islands around here are very green and lush. We've absolutely no wind at the moment, as you can see, the sea is like that. Of Ireland, <laughs> okay, that was a bit of an update. Um, catch you later on. In the midst of their day exploring, the crew hastily leave Fiscato behind. A short sail now awaits them as they venture onwards towards the storied island of Ithaca, pondering the myths that have shaped the island's history throughout the ages. Now the three towers on that headland over there, it's like the three towers on our flag, our San Marino flag. This little cottage on the coast over there reminds me of the west of Ireland, my home country. Baby, beautiful, beautiful, ooh, it's a nice shot here. Here's where we are at the moment. We're heading in on the channel. You can see it. It's about 20 minutes to our final destination, which is inside Vati, which is a very well protected bay. Stay salty, stay ahead of us, our buddy boat. Almost there. Shallow. 20 yeah. minutes. It's very calm. This reminded me of when we were sailing around Italy, the water state. Let me show you. Very nice. We are slicing through the water. Lovely. Mm. Spring has sprung, for sure. Beautiful Vati, I look forward to meeting you. Vathi, Ithaca's charming capital, is steeped in mythological significance. It is famously associated with Odysseus, whose long and arduous journey home to Ithaca is one of the most celebrated stories in Greek mythology. This picturesque town, believed to be the setting for many of Odysseus' adventures, is a living testament to Ithaca's legendary past. Nestled in a deep natural harbour on the island's eastern side, Vathi's Venetian-era history is also reflected in its charming 
architecture and winding streets. The main harbour is one of Greece's largest natural ones and has been of vital use since ancient times. The town, rebuilt after a devastating earthquake in 1953, Bathy today offers a blend of historical charm and modern amenities, surrounded by lush hills and very famous beaches. Could have been Trinity a few nights ago. On the rocks, yeah. No savings at all. I think we had enough. The almost was enough. That is grim. Side. Yeah, it's half it's sunken. Okay. Bati, we are here. Bati We're about to anchor. So let's go do that. Guys, we're about to head up and anchor in Bathy Town. So I'm going to be bringing you along with me, as per usual. Get you onto my head, and then we go. Do we have a plan of action? Yeah. Execution. We're, yeah, we're just going to do exactly what salties are doing. They're up on on the anchor, so I'm going to need you in a minute. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. It's 20 meters. Yeah, we're 20 meters and we're gonna get onto an 858 eight around and here. Just stand here. So you're gonna be dropping. All right, up we go again. There's only two other boats here. Oh, three. Wow, what a beautiful place. This is a cool little island with a church in the middle. Wow, it's, this is a huge town, especially in comparison to where we've been the last few days. Let me get that remote ready. Ah, oh, this reminds me of Harry Potter. I don't know if you feel me. Let me know if you get what I'm what I'm putting down. Well, I do believe we'll be staying around here for a day or two. I'm spinning around. I think we'll drop 15, reverse back onto the chain, make sure we're holding, and then drop the residual amount. amount. Ready, I'm gonna stop the boat. Yep, ready. Okay, drop me 10. Got you. Okay, I'm gonna reverse back on it. Yeah, I'll let you know how we hold. So what we're looking for is a slight lift in that chain. Yep, holding. Keep dropping. There's about 20 there. Yeah, it's lifting. Yep, like a lot. It's all the way down there, you can see. <laughs> it's nice and clear here. All right, get back to the left. I'll leave this open actually for a bit. All right, turn this off. Whoop. Okay. High five. Up where my head is. You too. High five. Oh, it's lovely and calm. Mm. We should have a really nice sleep tonight. We all slept a little bit anxiously last night. <laughs> Just being close to the rocks and considering the experience we had only a few days ago. This is normal, it's part of the life. I think a lot of the fear just comes from lack of practical experience. Maybe I'll face the other way. <laughs> so we're holding really well. We've been anchored here for about maybe two, two hours now, two and a half hours. Martin and Sharon have just headed into town to do just a little bit of a shopping. Oh, I'm just so lucky. Then Martin and Sharon get back from the shopping. I think we'll just spend the rest of the evening together. Relax a little bit, we've been go, go, go the past few days, so we might just enjoy the Sunday evening off together as a family. Oh, they're coming back now, but tomorrow, we're checking out that wreck that we saw on the way in. Look at this perfect timing. Hi. Did you have a nice time? Yeah. Oh, thank you guys. See you later. See you tomorrow, see you tomorrow yeah. See you later, guys. You will. Okay, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. As night soon falls, anticipation builds for tomorrow's adventure. The crew prepares to explore the site of a nearby shipwreck, uncovering its stories, both modern and mythological, as they go along. Let's check in. afternoon actually I mean I don't know what time it is to be honest or what day it is that's the way we are on our way to the shipwreck that we mentioned heading to yesterday we just pulled up on the dinghy 
and you can kind of see it from here, I'll give you a look. So yeah, join us, we're just going to walk along, it should probably take 10 minutes max. Pretty straight roads, very lovely views. And then we'll inspect perhaps some looting, <laughs> perhaps some pirate cosplay, we'll see how we go, check in soon. So based on signage, we're heading to somewhere, or at least along the direction of somewhere called Lutza. Check this out. There's just so much to see. I'll never ever get bored. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to walk in a straight line because I'm always looking up like this. <laughs> Some of the natural landscapes really, really remind me of Australia. Like a lot of the trees and the rockscapes. I mean, even the intricacies in the erosion look very Australian. I guess it's a similar kind of that dry, humid, semi-rural kind of places. Makes sense to me. <laughs> And lots of motorbikes. There it is, just there. Getting closer. There's plenty of non-sunken ships for your viewing pleasure. Make a wish with me, but don't tell me because then it won't come true. I'm also curious to learn how this incident occurred. I do hope we find somebody who we can ask, but if we don't, we're getting closer. It's right ahead of me. I won't show you till we get there though. It's kind of hard to make out exactly what's happened until we get a bit closer. Kind of creepy. There's still stuff in the in the cockpit. All right, I have to get down there. Whoa! <gasps> Look at all the fishes. Do you think it's recent? Well, it wasn't here last year, according to Salty. Um, you said the sails are quite perished. Well, the main sail is gone, the mizzen mm. is gone, the head sails are perished. Mm. But it looks, it doesn't look too old. That's scary. We've got like a barrier around it for fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Let's have a closer look. It looks like they were connected. So I don't know if maybe the water level changed suddenly. I mean, it's sunken, so presumably it looks like it has a wooden hull as well. Presumably just a big hole got blown out and it sunk. Again, we'll have to look it up and I'll let you guys know, but quite the sight. Shipwrecks play a crucial role in Greek mythology, often symbolizing the trials faced by its seafaring heroes. One of the most famous shipwreck stories is that of Odysseus, who, after angering the god Poseidon, endured numerous maritime misadventures before finally returning home to Ithaca. Another notable tale involves the shipwreck of Aeneas, a Trojan hero whose journey to Italy was fraught with perils, as recounted in Virgil's Aeneid. In a modern context, this boat suffered a similar fate to heroes past. If they are open? Hello? No. We are thirsty drunks. We just looted a pirate ship. We need some grog. They're teasing us. I don't even like beer. I think we are done. I see the statue of Odysseus. In the heart of Varthi stands a statue of Odysseus, the island's legendary hero, erected in 2011 to commemorate and celebrate his enduring legacy. Crafted by sculptor Memos Macris, the statue captures the essence of Odysseus as a symbol of wisdom, resilience, and adventure. It depicts him in two variations, one standing tall and the other lower down with a contemplative expression on his face set to reflect his many trials.
Wales. The monument also includes a plaque that details Odysseus's exploits and Ithaca's significant role in his very story. This beloved landmark draws tourists and mythology enthusiasts worldwide who come to pay homage to one of Greece's most iconic heroes. Back aboard, Trinity Martin casts his line and sets to catch the first fish of the season. Let's check in with the crew. Come on, Trinity. Mm. Want to keep the pressure on the hook? And tie around the Pressure's on, Captain. Oh, oh I'm in. Uh, the hungry boys are out today. <laughs> The, 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 Come the, on, fishy. A bucket? It's a towel or something. Get the bucket, yeah. Or the, the fish lip gripper. Yay! Turn around. Turn around. Oh, he's a big one. What is he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him before. Oh. Taylor's just about to eat it. Oh. Okay, I don't want to look. No, no, no. Are you killing it? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, no, will you stop? <laughs> will you relax? <laughs> Now the crew will prepare this Ithacan catch, a reward for their efforts on their odyssey so far, fresh from the sea's bounty. Okay, so what have we got here? We have a banner pompano fish. Yeah, I uh, didn't know what it was at first. It's the first time I've ever caught one of them, but I did a bit of research on the internet and banner pompano or a palametto. Apparently very good eating, so we'll find out. We have some spines here to watch out for around the dorsal fin or yeah. the anal fin, I should say. You can see them there. Apparently they're they can stick into it, so they Looks can. Looks like it. Yep. And also along the dorsal fin area. So okay. I'm just going to do a standard technique. We're just going to come in uh, under the fin, mm -hmm. down to the backbone. Yep. Now I'm going to cut along the back. It's time to tune out. <laughs> but it's our first fishy of the season. First fishy, actually, ever on the boat. Are you excited? Yay! First fishy. We're real sailors now. We didn't end up with much. There's not a lot on the fish and there's a lot of bloodlines in that you have to put quite a little bit of waste. Plus my floating skills are a lot to be desired. We've seasoned them. And Smells good. And some fish seasoning. Not too much as well. Good thing we have that spice rack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taste test. That's good. Right, ready? Cheers. 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 Here we go. Yeah. Cheery. That's quite nice. The decent meat though. Mm. But the fish itself isn't good. Mm, it's not too bad. Mm, it's not too bad. And I've eaten it. Hum. <laughs> With Pompano fresh on their tongues, epic tales of shipwrecks fresh on their minds, and the odyssey of Odysseus himself fresh in their hearts, the crew finished off their first two days in the famed Vathi town. Join them next episode as they delve deeper into the history and scenery of Ithaca as a trek up and around its colourful town, rural plains, and dense forests lead the crew to a secluded seaside paradise, one that they have all to themselves. Right for discovery and relaxation. How will our crew navigate the next phase of their journey? Stay tuned to find out. Which part of this story captivated you the most? And what mythical legends do you think await the crew next? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there guys!